There are four big capacity, rough and tough balers in the John Deere line. The 14T, 214T, 214WS, and 323W. Here's the 14T twine tie, the family sized baler with custom capacity. And here's the 14T's big brother, the 214T twine tie that makes heavier, denser bales. In wire tie balers, there's the 214WS. It's perfect for commercial growers and custom operators. The newest baler in the line is the engine-driven 323W three-wire baler. It's for commercial hay growers, large acreage growers, and custom men who want a large, heavy bale for shipping. 323W bales measure 16 by 23 inches and up to 50 inches long. The simple, wide open design of the 14T is the basic design used in all John Deere balers. Let's take the outstanding features of the 14T step by step. And we'll point out the differences in the 214T and 214WS as we meet them. Here at the floating, power-driven pickup is where big capacity starts. It's 53 inches wide with an extra 9 inches added by side flares. There's plenty of width for picking up any windrow. Rigid hip-high strippers on the 14T ensure smooth feeding and prevent the crop from flowing over the auger. 214T, 214WS, and 323W balers have a flexible and adjustable pickup compressor to ensure even more positive feeding. The 16-inch auger moves hay from the pickup to the fork-type feeder and also serves as a built-in pre-compressor. It gently pre-compresses the crop and moves it directly toward the bale case. There are no extra corners to shatter leaves and increase the power required. The auger housing is a full 22 inches from top to bottom, deep enough to allow fast, easy movement of the hay with less choking, less leaf shattering rubbing. Here's how John Deere balers make better bales. The fork type feeder takes material from the auger, lifting as well as pushing it into the bale chamber. Hay or straw is evenly distributed throughout the bale case for more uniform, well-formed bales. A sharp knife on the plunger head slices each charge against a stationary knife and in the same movement compresses the charge against the bale being formed. Material is sliced just right for easy handling and feeding. Here are three more reasons why you'll make better bales with a John Deere baler. They're the hay retainers, retractable hay dogs, and bale groovers. The dimple type retainers on the sides of the bale case, and the retractable hay dogs hold each charge firmly in position while the plunger returns for another charge. The long steel projections are the bale groovers. There are two in the top of the bale case, and two in the bottom. They form channels in the bale for the twine or wire to rest in. This protects the twine or wire against friction in the bale case and against snagging when handling. Twine or wire cannot slip off bales because of the grooves. By changing the position of the bale measuring arm stop, you can make bales in lengths from 8 to 50 inches. You change bale weight by adjusting tension on the hinge top plate. On the 214T and the 214WS, compression is also exerted on each side of the bale by an adjustable hinged pressure plate. No baler is better than its tying mechanism. John Deere balers are second to none. Simple, efficient knotters on the 14T and the 214T Tie knots quickly and securely. Bales stay tied with roughest handling. The 214WS and the 323W feature a single twist knotter which ties with amazing accuracy and is simple and easy to adjust. 
a multi-looper on the 214T, 214WS, and 323W supplies grease to all points in the Notter area with a few pushes on the plunger. Will the operator please turn the record? Many safety devices on John Deere balers save you time and money. On the 14T and 214 series balers, a telescoping needle lift link protects the needles from damage should they strike an obstruction in the bale case. This plunger head stop prevents the plunger head from continuing if the needles aren't in their home position. A safety arm prevents double tripping. The combination overrunning and slip clutch protects PTO balers against damage caused by sudden shock loads. This shear bolt on the 14T flywheel protects the baler should the plunger head become blocked or obstructed. The flywheel on the 214T or 214WS baler has a shear bolt and slip clutch. The flywheel on the 323W has a shear bolt. The 14T's pickup and auger are protected by shear assemblies, the 214 series by slip clutches, and the 323W pickup and auger is protected by the belt drive and slip clutch. Many convenience features, such as this handy jack stand, this simple lever for adjusting pickup height, and this easy means of changing the hitch from transport to operating position and vice versa make operation easy. The waterproof twine boxes on the 14T and 214T hold four balls of twine, enough for many hours of bailing. There's plenty of wire capacity on the easy to load racks on the 214WS too. The 323W holds three 6,500-foot rolls of wire, plus three extra rolls. John Deere balers are built to take the roughest jars and jolts of the toughest field conditions. The greatest labor-saving piece of equipment for hay growers is the bale ejector attachment for the twine ties. It loads half-sized or slightly larger bales into wagons automatically. The ejector is simple and dependable, mechanically driven from the baler. There's no extra engine required, no costly throwing belts to replace either. Other special equipment for 14T, 214T, and 214WS balers includes auxiliary engines, a side wagon hitch and bale chute, a center mounted wagon hitch also available for hydraulic control, a side drop bale chute, a bale counter, dual wheels for either or both sides, and a pickup gauge wheel. Additional special equipment for the 14T only includes this pickup compressor, a slip clutch for the pickup, and a slip clutch for the auger. Hydraulic bale tension control for 214T and 214WS balers only gives you more uniform bales and provides an easy method for controlling bale weight. This is regular equipment on the 323W. That pretty well sums up the John Deere baler lineup. Now, what'll you have? A family-sized 14T? The bigger capacity 214T, the 214WS, or the really big, the beefy 323W. Seeing is believing. How about letting us bring one out to your farm for a demonstration?